Hi everyone and welcome to another SM Scrapper video. In this video I'll show you a little mini that I made. Well it's not really a mini because it's kind of huge. But let's just call it a mini. Um, about my pregnancy and I finally finished it. It took me forever. It was supposed to be like a pregnancy journal kind of thing and it turned into a little album instead because I just couldn't keep up. I was so sick when I was pregnant and I just could barely do anything throughout the whole time so finally finished it you know three months after I gave birth but I finished it and that's what matters so here we go um, I used um, most of the papers I used if not all of the papers I used were Heidi Swap I believe it was her first collection of papers and um, I've had those papers for a while I just hadn't used them yet and I thought this was perfect you know knowing that I was gonna have a girl and everything so that's what I used and for the base of this album I use an acrylic based album from a page frame designs um, I think I've already mentioned that in, in, in one of my other videos um, so it's a page frame designs .com. that's where I got this and um, it's a little pricey but it was worth it. I, I loved working with it. So for the binding over here, I don't know if you can see, I have a big, big, big bling. It's really an ornament, a Christmas tree ornament that I got at Sears, like at 80% off or something this past Christmas. And it was like 35 cents. And I really liked it when I got it. And I just thought about this um, album. So I hung it from a safety pin over here. And I also have a key from Making Memories that says Joy right there. And then I used a whole bunch of um, fibers and um, ribbons, all, all kinds, American crafts, and you know some from um, Creative Fiber Arts. So that was that. And in the front page, I use some, these are thickers that I just um, put, I actually first used a silver marker to outline um, the thickers, and then I um, used glossy accents and put it on top, so it would have that glossy look, I don't know if you can tell, and then these I colored, I embossed them in silver, and then I put black around the edge you know to do the opposite of what I did to these I did to this and I also put glossy accents on that then on the side um, I use different techniques um, these are Prima leaves and this one is a gray Prima leaf that I just left by itself these two leaves were exactly the same except that I did something else I took um, silver but it was like metallic silver uh, embossing powder I embossed the leaves with it that's why you could see that glimmer on it because it has like a glitter on the embossing powder so that's what I did there then in the bottom it's a Prima flower this pink one and I um, took some clear embossing powder and embossed that to make it glossy. Then on top of that, I don't know if you could see, there is a clear Heidi Swap flower. Then on top of it, there is a Prima flower that was glimmer misted um, with old lace, I believe. And then one of the Prima blings, Prima centers, put right there. Then I don't know, I'm probably going to have to do this. Put it against something dark so you could see. Around the acrylic, I alcohol inked the edge of the book. On the, on the front cover and in the back cover with silver um, alcohol inks. And I thought that gave it a nice, cute look. And I think this is going to be a two-part video because I'm taking too long. I mean, this is just the cover. I'm already five minutes in, four minutes in, whatever. Anyways, this is the first page. Um, I actually don't like things too crowded, but I love the crowded look for this cluttered, you know, book. It's a cluttered wonder I guess <laughs> so um, in this page I just took black cardstock and put it in the center and I have a clear I don't know I don't know if you could see it in there it's a clear 
one of those clear Heidi Swap butterflies, and then on top of that, a butterfly that I stamped, I mean, that I punched out of one of Martha Stewart's punches, then some Prima Bling, and then some more butterflies that I punched with a Martha Stewart punch. And over here is one of those um, cardstock um, stickers from Heidi Swap that I punched out. I took it out from one of the sheets. Then it's a sticker that says Begin, Welcome, Change, Take a Chance. And it's also from Heidi Swap as well as the bling, pink bling around it. It's also from Heidi Swap. Then I just journaled uh, with white, with a white uh, pen. Then on this side, um, this is really how the page looks. It's just that from, you can see it from the back. This is the page. I took some Heidi Swap designer paper in the back, took a journaling spot. I bought this at an Etsy store. And also this. Um, this is from L Studio, I believe. And I just took some bling, Heidi Swap bling, put it around there. And then I took some thickers, and it says eight weeks. This was my eight weeks ultrasound. And I just journaled in there. So the next page. Um, I took some, I didn't put any cardstock because you could see from behind the designer paper. So you don't, you know, that's the good thing about acrylics. You don't have to use paper again on this side because you can see it from the back side. So I used some um, doodle bug um, felt ribbon around here. I don't know if you could see the texture. And then I made this little folder um, with black cardstock. And here's where I have all the pictures of my second ultrasound. This is an, also a journaling spot that I used, that I got from an Etsy store, and some more Heidi Swap bling and another Heidi Swap chipboard piece. So here I attached it with, with Velcro, and this is my 19 and a half week ultrasound. So this is how it opens. It opens like that, and then I use the stamping up uh, ornate uh, I have no idea what it's called it's one of those punches for from stamping up I, I just can't remember so on the other side it's the same way you pull it you know up I don't know if you can see the frame see so you see everything so that's how it goes and then it closes with a velcro right there then the next page I covered the entire page with designer paper from Heidi Swap. Then I just put all the little pictures around. Then I put a journaling spot in the center also that I got from that same Etsy store. I believe it's L Studio. Um, then I got a, a rose from the designer paper and cut it out. Then I got some felt. I don't know if you could see here. Felt ribbon. I believe this is also from Doodle Bug. And then some Prima bling right on the sides. That's that page. And I etched all these with um, stays on um, hot pink uh, ink. So I am going to do a part two because it's taking long. Well, maybe I could fit one more page. Let's see. In this page, um, I just used, you know, didn't use any. I used cardstock in the middle, but you could see from the paper in the back, you could see the outside rim of the other paper. Then I took another chipboard. Um, Heidi Swap bling, I mean piece, then some Heidi Swap bling around here, some butterflies also punched from my Martha Stewart punch. Then here, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to catch it, there is a clear um, Mickey Memories frame that says Angel Precious. It says a lot of things. And I put um, the ultrasound picture there. That was from when it was 32.5 weeks in my, into my pregnancy. And then I have a crown right there with some bling. I don't know if you could tell. It's right there, and just photos of the other ultrasound, 3D ultrasound. So that's it for this video. Come back for video number two for the rest of the pages. Thank you.